Welcome to the Eastland Scientific Enterprises Corporation. This is a site uh, about uh, Bernard Eastland and his company that he made. Our mission is the application of the latest advances in science towards the very real and significant issues facing governments, industry, and our environment today. In these pages you will find specific examples of the types of problems and innovative solutions ESEC has provided based on the significant experience of Dr. Bernard Eastland and his colleagues in the field of physics and engineering. Now, I for the life of me cannot get the resolution worked out with my camera on here so I am going to provide the link and people that are a little bit better at this please come in here and let's start sifting through all of these different pages and pages and links and links Okay, we've got the solutions. One of the solutions was for the environment. Uh, that would include harp weather, weather modification, SIPA weather, tornado modification from the ground, municipal waste, and the fusion torch he invented. He also invented HARP. Then it goes into energy uses, the fusion torch, uh, recycling spent fuel, uh, nuclear fission power, symbiotic nuclear power, military solutions such as missile defense, hard kill or upset, anti-satellite destruction, radar surveillance with plasma mirrors, cruise missiles, telecommunications, science and engineering, industrial applications. And let's see his vision. Vision was the fusion torch which was invented by Dr. Bernard Eastland in 1968. Solved the problem of energy supply and to close off materials from use after reuse. That would be the <coughs> spent fuel. Then there's the LVPP which was invented by Dr. Bernard Eastland in 1997. Solved the problems of the Cold War legacy of radioactive waste. And we have HARP which was invented by Dr. Bernard Eastland in 1984 to solve the problems of missile defense and for research on severe weather and provide a means of replenishing the ozone layer. One application is to generate swarms of energetic electrons in space that can destroy missiles and be useful as anti-satellite weapon. Then there's a TSPS thunderstorm solar power satellite. It's invented in 1997. It doesn't say it was invented by Dr. Eastland. And we have SIPA, and he had some ideas of space cities. And that was actually another patent that he has three patents for sure on HARP with ARCO. Oh, let's go into... He spoke and lectured at many universities, many Physics was his specialty. It's got his resume, his proposals for development in the Hanford nuclear waste issue, fusion torch challenge, LVPP thin film plasma processor, TSPS proposals. And we have HARP. This goes into detail about HARP, uh, and here's a picture of how it's used, and here is the patent. HARP is a large phased array electromagnetic wave generator located in Alaska. 
The involvement uh, of Dr. Bernard Eastland in its creation has been well documented. It's not anything hidden. During the period in which many of the books and articles were written, Dr. Eastland was under a 15-year confidentiality agreement with ARCO. This confidential agreement has now matured and Mr. Eastland has since passed away. Okay, and there's many, many uh, tabs you can click on. I am not going to go into all this today. I just wanted to give you an idea of all of the information here so that one by one we can thoroughly go through them. We have Cosmic weather, Armageddon, Cosmic Plaza, Harp weather, tornadoes, TSPS, jet streams. Cosmic Ignition Weather Toolkit, gravitational waves demonstrated as clouds, Cosmic Ignition Weather Modification Tools, the plasma formed in the atmosphere using the cosmic particle ignition methods can be used for weather research and weather modification in many ways. This is a plasma heater and it can be designed to have energy deposited in the air. This energy can be used to heat water droplets in the case of a tornado modification or generate acoustic and gravitational waves by heating the atmosphere and modulating the heating rate by modulating the power of the heating beam. Okay. Even had an Armageddon scenario to <clears throat> help disperse the dust through a SIPO, SIPA electro scavenger. And what that did was it forced the dust through the mirror here and then it came down to earth benign and we have cosmic plaza patterns in atmosphere this is the sipa here's your elect or your microwave heater beam coming up to a plasma mirror and then the uh, ionization, ionization trail. A new method is being developed and patents are pending in the formation of cosmic ignited plasma patterns in the atmosphere. The SIPA method uses cosmic particle ionization trails to ignite breakdown within the electric field pattern, thus significantly reducing power requirements and costs. Military applications include quickly deployable communication systems for theater-wide operations. Harp weather. Weather modification research was discussed. And it's being done. And we've got tornadoes and tornado mitigation. So kind of stands kind of stands a reason that if they can mitigate a tornado, they can create one. So here you have some fire trucks with some dishes on them. Then you have an emergency antenna vehicle down the road. These guys shoot up multiple microwave beams up into the mirror. The plasma heating, mesocycling. Emergency vehicles would be placed throughout the Midwest. Upon identification of a threatening mesocyclone, they would converge within about a 30 mile radius of the storm and a few hundred such vehicles would beam their energy into the cold rainy downdraft. The, technologi the technology for tracking the storms has been developed by tornado chasers such as Dotswell. That was the tornadoes. Now each one of these you can go into much deeper. I'm just showing you what is here. Thunderstorm Solar Power Satellite. 
a solar power satellite is a concept for placing large arrays of solar cells on satellites and beaming the electrical power to Earth via microwaves and converting the microwaves to electrical power for distribution. Jet stream, solar power, satellite. This is solar power satellite beams, microwaves between 50 and 100 gigahertz to heat gases in the jet stream. They can actually change the direction of the jet stream by heating up the edges. So see, you can you can get in here, go as deep as you want to go. Anyone who would like to help with this, please, let's farm out different areas and start making some videos. Because, like I said, I I don't know how to seriously work with. Um, my camera here. So we've got weather, tornadoes, cosmoplasma, the fusion torch. Uh, this is a concept for utilizing the high temperature plasma of a fusion reactor to break apart all solid and gaseous materials and cr convert them into a few reusable and sellable elements for closing the cycle of use to reuse. Plasma processing. The LVPP processes utilize his plasma processes that can completely vaporize, dissociate, and convert to ionized elements any solid, gas, or liquid. It includes methods of sequestering the elements each from each in a form suitable for resale. The first is a processor based on a toroidal plasma device, and the second utilizes intense electron beams. LVPP processor differs from a fusion torch in that it consumes electricity. The power delivered to the solid particles in each case is over 5 million watts. This is almost 10,000 times higher than the plasma torches. It goes into his space city theory, uh, industrial uses, astrophysics, contacts, Symbiotic Nuclear, the Hanford Project, Armageddon Scenarios, and the Jet Streams. The next video I'm going to do is probably just going to start with number one and working on uh, taking it from there. Alright? God bless.